Hey, yeah, what up, everyone? Um, yeah, cheers, Dad, for the um, $100 gift cards. Well, you gave me three of them. That is overly generous of you. Um, yeah, I'll put them to good use. I've got some plants. We've missed um, seed, seed growing season for the winter crops. Um, yeah, I did try my last ditch effort to um, get some seeds going. But yeah, it didn't take off too well because at first I planted seeds here in the garden. And what happened was, as you can see right now, it's morning. And it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I've been watering this at night and uh, it's dry, like really dry. So uh, I've rectified that. I've went and bought some cow manure today. I'm going to mix it in. The only things we got growing out here is basil. Basil and more basil. We had some rocket leaves in there to grow in a huge cluster, but the problem was uh, one of them got diseased and it sort of spread it to all of them. And I had to pull them all out, I had to chuck them straight on the burning pit. It, I forgive all this rubbish here, um, I was burning off the other day and I've left a box out here and this little, this little ruby whatchamacallit here, decided she'll play, play up all the cardboard, and yeah, so yeah, these are all the um, diseased rocket leaves, and I pull them all out, chuck them there, I didn't want to compost them, because I really didn't want to spread any diseases, um, yeah, I've got some chilies here, I'm going to have to cut these guys down for winter, as Ruby's found a little lizard there, she loves lizards, yeah, and um, this one here, as you can tell by the um, the hard or the hard branches here, I had to cut this one back last year. And this one's gonna do for its first cutting, but I think after about another 12 months or something, I have to pull this guy out because um, usually chili plants they get a bit hard and woody, and the chilies don't really taste very nice, so no point wasting water on them. Um, yeah, this is my setup. I'm going to reconnect these hoses here. Another thing I bought from Bunnings too was earmuffs because I was going to star pick it, uh, star pick it around here between um, the garden area and the tap. So um, I can do morning watering, like going out there early in the morning because I don't like walking too far, especially in the Especially you know when it's really dark and sometimes too when I work uh, start work at seven so I'm usually there by about six or five before the sun's up and especially if winter it's a shorter day so I don't really want to be walking out in the darkness here so I'm gonna put a um, star picket down there maybe attach a bit of wood on top and have a overhead watering system I've got these Holmans uh, sprinklers they're really good because you got like a little selection wheel here like you can do light sprinkles to um, you know focused water beams which is really good um, I've had these guys running around all over the yard about two years ago um, as you can see over here I've had overhead hoses and that and I probably need to I'm probably just gonna take take all that out and maybe just put it all here yeah, no point cutting open some more hoses. I got plenty of backup hoses and that. Um, I got this one here I've been watering the garden with. Um, my mate came over one time to um, cut the grass and he accidentally went over a bit of the hose here. And so every time I turn the water on, I get a nice um, stream of watery goodness right up where the sun don't shine once or twice and so another reason why I want to go ahead with the overhead irrigation system and yeah so I'm gonna get into it all right I'm gonna go down to the shed here and get some tools out first I thought I'd show off the um, garden beds I built about two years ago this is um, the rest of the irrigation I was talking about sort of runs all the way down there to the corner side of the house um, yeah these are probably the first ones I've built 
but I'm not too happy with this one in particular. As you can see, um, it's the first time, obviously it's my first time building one of these and I didn't exactly um, have the right screws so I tried tire wiring it and it didn't really hold out too well. These are tire wired to star pickets. Uh, I'm going to have to pull this one apart sooner or later but I can reuse all this garden soil here. And the good news is underneath there should be some decom decomposing um, decomposing well, plant material like bits of wood. I've chucked all sorts of stuff in here. Logs. Um, yeah. Probably some of the old um, bamboo that was lying around too. Like dead bits of bamboo, not living bits. I don't really want to grow another bamboo forest in a garden bed. Alright, it's my tool shed. I'm a bit of a nut. I like to keep things somewhat organised here. Here we've got spare parts for, um, for hoses, saw blades, uh, cable ties, and we've even got one for doorknobs and tent pegs and trolley wheels. It's my screw box. I keep all sorts of screws and hinges in here. Um, oh, yeah, doesn't like being left in the shed. I might have to chuck that out. Yeah, got some paint stuff, some backup fertilizer, and some peat pots. Some um, oh, some plant netting in case we get some locusts. A couple additional toolboxes here. Um, yeah, Ruby likes to come in here too. Don't you, Ruby? Yeah, got all my digging equipment here. So, yeah. See what I'm going to need. I'm going to need the, the irrigation system. I'm definitely going to need the cable ties. And I'm going to be digging up the garden bed later. I'd rather just come in here and grab what I need straight up than make multiple trips down here because... It's a bit of a long way away. Um, yeah, I'm going to need the post hole driver. Let me see if I can pick it all up with one hand. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this thing's a beauty. It's building the bridge up in um, Flame Tree on the sunny coast. And yeah, that's what we used. And I thought these are the best, best bloody invention ever. Little to no effort, and you drop it goes in. They eh? um, I don't really have anywhere safe to put the phone down, so I don't know if I can show you or not. But yeah, alrighty. I've decided too. I'm probably gonna um, gonna cut maybe this hose here that my mate ran over with the whipper snipper because it's already damaged, and I really don't want to have hose everywhere. I'd rather just cut it all to shape. I'll get the um, Stanley knife out. And yeah, and see where I can put an overhead hang. I can probably even clip some of the um, sprinklers along that fence line there and have it sort of come down like this. And yeah, just got to make sure it all hits, you know, hits the bed. Um, that's a good thing about those dials I was showing before. You've got square shape and you've got rectangle shape for different types, types of beds. Got a rectangular bed here and we've got a square shape one here. And I'm pretty sure I left the dials um, set two years ago for those shapes. So yeah, we'll see what this becomes. Hey, check these out. Everything seems all quiet now, but I've got some air protection because I'm about to drive a star picket into the ground with the postal thingamajigs and the thing is about it is it can get really loud so you probably don't want to be doing this at night time and always wear ear protection because hearing is the one thing you never get back alrighty as you can see there I have um, stuck the star picket in if I pick this up see I've driven it in there and all I've done is just stuck a um, bit of PVC pipe I got for free off the buy swap and sell um, about a 
a couple of years ago. I was actually going to run the um, pool ward all the way out to the creek there, but ended up getting done. These guys are just sitting in the backyard deteriorating. So yeah, I'm going to try and work out a way how I can attach something up there to hold the hose and to do do the overhead watering irrigation system. I know it's not exactly straight and if someone's paying me to do it, I'll probably be fired right now, but hey, I just want something to hold up the hose and that's all. Alright, so what I've done here is I found an old um, fence picket, oh well, not fence picket, uh, fence paling, and I've drilled some screws in there. Um, that one I sort of missed, but it's all right. It's going to be about two and a half meters up in the air. No one's going to see it, and it's going to be on top. I put the cracked piece. Um, that's going to sit on top there because I didn't want to throw it off balance. And I really want this thing to be as wind resistant as possible. Which is why I stuck multiple screws in there. As you can see, the two screws there hold it upright and that bottom screw there stops it from moving from the weight of the hose. And I've measured out exactly two and a half meters here because I don't want to hit my head on it. And I'm pretty sure no one else does. Hello. Yeah, as you can see, Ruby's a bit worried. Um, to, I pretty much chose a very windy day to do this, but yeah, I just loosely wrapped the hose around up here so it hangs above the ground. And yeah, reason why she's a bit worried right now because I'm actually standing on top of a sawhorse. Do not recommend doing that. Um, yeah, so the hose is going to run from here, across here, and it's going to go over the garden beds like so. Whoa. 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 Uh oh. Oh. Hang on. I better go. Alrighty. Pretty much got it complete. I just got to test the water now. Oh, look at that. Don't you love it when things come together? Well, I've done with the final piece is I have sippy tied it up here so the water should run through all this run across that post down there over here to that sprinkler and to that sprinkler so um, I haven't pre-tested it yet I've only tested it as far as that post I put in so now we're gonna see if it works I'm just getting some of my tools out of the way as I don't know how far all this water is going to go. So yeah. Alright, suspense. Hang on, let me adjust that camera there. Alrighty. Alright, a kink strangling it a bit. Alright, and we have oil! Woo! Like I said, these ones got dial um, dial holes on there, so all I gotta do is just turn it around and I can readjust it. Uh, I might need to turn that, tilt that one over to the left a bit, as it's only getting a quarter of the garden bed. But yeah, turned out alright. Winds, it's a pretty windy day too, so it's all blowing this way, but that further ado, I better turn the water off. Alright. Alrighty. Pretty much got it complete. I just got to test the water now. Oh, look at that. Don't you love it when things come together? What I've done with the final piece is I have sippy tied it up here so the water should run through all this run across that post down there over here to that sprinkler and to that sprinkler 
So um, I haven't pre-tested it yet. I've only tested it as far as that post I put in. So now we're going to see if it works. I'm just getting some of my tools out of the way as I don't know how far all this water is going to go. So yeah. All right, suspense. Hang on, let me adjust that camera there. All righty. All right, a kink strangling it a bit. All right, and we have oil. Woo! Like I said, these ones got dial. Um, dial holes on there, so all I gotta do is just turn it around and I can readjust it. Uh, I might need to turn that, tilt that one over to the left a bit, as it's only getting a quarter of the garden bed. But yeah, turned out alright. Winds, it's a pretty windy day too, so it's all blowing this way. But without further ado, I better turn the water off. All right. Oh, there's a ladder. It's always in the last place you look. Yeah, um, I need to put a cut here. So, what I've tried before when I made my first cut, which is probably back up here, as you can see, it's coming along great. Um, yeah, after I cut that, I ran the water through to make sure that these um, pinches aren't too tight and maybe just expand it, let the water expand. You don't want the um, we don't want the you don't want them too tight or it's just gonna hit the hose and you're not gonna get any water through. So yeah, as I was saying before, I need to make a cut here. I have tried using the Stanley knife here, but what the problem is though, um, I just seem to be scraping the top there, and I could put a lot more force into it, but then I run the risk of cutting my own fingers. So um, I found Good old fashioned scissors does the job. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm sort of just um, going, just making it up as I'm going along with all this, of the hose length and all that. I did pre measure some of it, like just for, um, well, obviously, I didn't really want to join up on the top there where I'd be up there all day, standing on top of that sawhorse. But I love it when. Um, when I'm having, having a lucky day, like right now. See, look at these knots in the fence there. And these guys have, um, yeah, where's one so I can show you? These guys usually have these, because they're meant to be drilled in the ground there. But I want to have it sort of coming over here, you know, watering over the top, rather than in the bottom there, so where if I've got some plants that have grown big, that'd soak up all the water and everything else in this bed well, um, would dry out so I'd rather have it above but look at that right in the knot hole I hope no one pokes an eye out and then I'm finally going to put this piece I managed to reuse it from the old irrigation system there but yeah I'm, I'm going to stick this piece in here and I'm probably going to hang it up around here no knot holes there so I might be out of luck but basically, what I've been doing, setting up this irrigation system. And one thing I want to show you too, this here, I wanted to use it because it was cut to size between the two um, sprinkler bits. But unfortunately, got a little bit of sunburn on the hose here. So usually happens is it melts together and it thins out so eventually um, what's going to happen is all the high pressure it might cause it to split you probably got the formation of a split here so I'm probably going to scrap this for the joins and probably throw that hose in the bin